81. John wants to buy, at most, 30 fruits consistent of apples and bananas. He does not want to spend any more than $16. If an apple costs 45 cents and a banana costs 65 cents, which of the following system of inequalities represents John's situation? Would you say it's A, B, C, or D? How can we find out? What should we do to get the answer? Well, let's begin by identifying the variables. Looking at the answer choices, we can see that the variables are A and B. So A stands for apple, B stands for banana. Now let's start with the first part of the question. I mean, or the first part of the problem. John wants to buy at most 30 fruits that consist of apples and bananas. So we could say that A plus B cannot exceed 30. So it has to be less than or equal to 30. It could equal 30, just not be more than 30. So right now we could eliminate answer choice B. A plus B shouldn't be up to 16. That's, that's not it. And we can eliminate answer choice D. So we're between A and C right now. Now, what is the second inequality that we can write? The second inequality has to do with the costs. He does not want to spend any more than $16. And we have the cost of an apple and the cost of a, of a banana. So the cost of all the apples he's going to buy, it's going to be 45 cents times the number of apples he's going to buy, which is represented by the symbol A, plus the cost for each banana, which is 65 cents times the number of bananas he's going to buy. That should not exceed $16. So it has to be less than or equal to 16. So clearly we could eliminate, should we eliminate A or C, what would you say? Notice what number we have next to A. We have a 0.65 instead of a 0.45. So answer choice C can be eliminated. Therefore, A is the correct answer. It matches up with exactly what we have. So sometimes you might be given a situation and you need to write a system of inequalities that corresponds to that situation, like this problem. 82. Megan wants to build a rectangular fence with length L and width W. She does not want the total amount of fencing to exceed a perimeter of 500 feet, but she wants the area of the land to be greater than 14,000 square feet. Which of the following system of inequalities best represents the situation? So right now, we have two things we're talking about. Perimeter and area. So let's start with the perimeter. She doesn't want the perimeter to exceed 500 feet. So that means that the perimeter has to be less than or equal to 500 feet. Now let's say we have a rectangle. We're going to call this the length of the rectangle and the width. The perimeter of a rectangle is 2L plus 2W. So this is what we now have. So right now we could eliminate answer choice A because it's less than 500, not less than or equal to 500. And we could eliminate D. Well, D has 250. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide everything by 250. I mean by 2, not 250. So this becomes L plus W is less than or equal to 250. So we could eliminate D. B and C are both true. B is true if you divide by 2. C is true if you don't divide by 2. So let's look at the second equation. The second situation has to do with area. 
She wants the area to be greater than 14,000 square feet. Now we know that area is left times width. So LW has to be greater than 14,000 feet. It didn't say greater than or equal to, just greater than. So we could eliminate answer choice C because that's greater than or equal to. So B has to be the correct answer. We have this part of the inequality and this one as well.